Uh, yes, uh, are you folks aware that the uh, company has set a timeline you know, for putting this road in? And if you see that timeline, that the company may withdraw its support, financial support for the road? Yay. We um, are aware that there is an interest in getting a decision made on this um, this fall. Yes. Joe DeRosha, Humboldt Township. Uh, this question is for Peter. Um, just a few minutes ago, you answered a question over here to someone in the crowd about the alternates, uh, 510, 550, because of the populated area. And you deem those not appropriate alternates. Is that what I understand? We. Yes. Okay. Yes. Then, that is. then why would it be that you would consider one of the alternates in Humboldt Township, FX, to be not a populated area? I guess I, I'll address that in our letter and our actions that Humboldt Township has taken as well. Thank you. Okay. I need to question, is the EPA only concerned about wetlands, or is it also concerned is that its primary purpose, or is it also concerned about other types of pollution other than wetlands? We are concerned about, so under this particular program, which is the wetlands program, a big focus of what we are working to address is impacts to aquatic resources um, in uh, wetlands and streams. So that is the focus. Um, there are other things we can consider, but the main focus is aquatic resources. And then, of course, EPA has a broader mission. Um, we have air people, we have an air program, we have um, land, hazardous waste, so uh, we certainly are concerned with all forms of pollution, some of which we can regulate, some of which we don't. Did you consider any of those other forms of pollution when you studied this case or put in your opposition to this case? Were other kinds of pollution at all considered other than wetland pollution? I would say our focus was on wetlands and streams, as, as, as Tinka has said. Now, it's, it's probably good to note that um, a project like this is going to need other approvals from the state, uh, such as something called an NPDES permit. That's a mouthful, but it basically is for the discharge, uh, in this case, of stormwater which would carry sediment and other types of, of pollutants uh, associated with it. We're not dealing with that in this action. This is focused on the filling of, of wetlands and the construction of stream crossings. Yeah. Um, Richard Slope from Iron River. Uh, I'm just uh, curious, you, you touched on it, but the slide went by too fast. Uh, if the MDEQ wants to issue a permit, a Clean Water Act uh, wetlands fill permit, and the EPA, EPA objects, the MDEQ has 30 days to respond to your objection? It... So, um, at the conclusion of the hearing process, which, as Tinka said, in involves hearing all the comments through September 4th, gathering those, making a decision, and communicating that decision either to withdraw or modify or maintain our objection. If we maintain or modify our objection, uh, once we notify DEQ of that, by, by regulation, within 30 days, the state would either need, need to address those objections in the permit that it proposed to issue or deny the permit um, for, for Clean Water Act 404 purposes. And in that case, the permitting authority would then become the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. Okay, so, so there, there's no either or, it's this or that. Steve, did you want to add anything in terms of, I mean, anything at all into that? Okay. Yeah. Thank you. So it's, it's either, if you object, it's either deny the permit or, or, or make changes, or make changes to the project and the permit that would address the objections. Yes. Okay. 